Hey guys, what's going on? Third Street Reactions here. I'm Shane and I'm back with Vox Machina Season 2. Guys, I'm glad to be back to watch Season 2 and react to it with all you guys. If you are joining us for the first time, I'm not a critical role watcher. I am just a show watcher, so bear with me as I just kind of stumble through these. I'll do my best. It took a while for me to warm up to Season 1, but eventually I ended up kind of falling for it with my favorite stuff being No Mercy Percy's storyline. It seemed like him and Cassandra's storyline wrapped up pretty well, but I like that character so much. I do hope we get more storylines in this season. Scanlan gets the most improved player of the year award for me. I did not enjoy his character at first at all, but by the end, I actually really ended up liking him a lot. I especially liked his contribution in the final battle in episode 10 uh, with the acid. I really adored Pike and Grog's relationship. They're awesome, so I hope we get more storylines from them. I had a lot to say regarding Pike's, uh, her relationship with the Everlight Deity. I'll post a link on the bottom to episode 8 so you can hear my and Zach's discussion. In the beginning of the show, Vox Machina, they were more like convenient allies I think at first they weren't particularly close but by the end of the show they become like a family at the end King Uriel summoned them back to I think the kingdom of Tal'Dori and they were celebrating and I think uh King is I almost said King Ezekiel from The Walking Dead but uh Uriel he ceded his power to the Tal'Dori government and kitty kitty Meow. Hey, Monty. It's Monty. At the end of the episode, we see four dragons flying towards the kingdom. So I imagine there's going to be mayhem, guys. So I'm going to jump in. Right before I do, guys, make sure you like this video and subscribe. Also, check us out on Patreon. The full-length uncut reaction will be on there. And two weeks early access for our non-live shows. All right, let's jump in. What's going on? It, it can't be... So now maybe we'll deal with a Vex and Vax's storyline. Um, is this part of the show? Hey, Everlight armor. The call to arms! Everyone move! Are those dragons? No, no shit. Everyone should have been running already, dude. Ice Dragon. Shit, the tower's gonna- Time to go! What do we do? I just don't want the children to die. Takes all down the children. Quickly, come! Good King, helping him up. Oh, whoa. That sucks. Uriel? <laughs> Jesus. Well, I, I like how he was looking at the fact that his family was safe and he was he was happy about it. That's awful. The shit? So is the hotter blonde chick on the council dead now? Look out! I thought that was gone. Go. Meet at my shop, right? Is this shop that safe? Dude, this is like Game of Thrones. That's a horrible thing. Why is he running like this? Ah! Oh. Shit! Uh, everybody back up. Slowly. It must be ancient. Why? Delicious cattle. Rice on the joy is the taste of fear. Good job. You. I've seen you. <gasps> Those are pretty. Intruders. The eye, the eye of Sauron. I'm too late. Oh, he 
go. Good job, Grog. You figured you would just want to get indoors and get in some kind of basement? Oh, no. Hang on, Percy! Everlight, please! Good job, Ashley Johnson. Almost! Unless you want to watch Growing Pains. Okay, good to go! Move to Rolo! Finish the fire! Dude, I didn't have those in Dragonheart. That's awful. Your monument shall fall. Your civilization erased. What about Uriel's family? Hear me, insects. You live out of mercy. Fight or flee, and you forfeit that mercy. This might be in the world. Not for us, Kenneth. Airship. I got this. <laughs> the move, old friend. I can't believe he's alive. Let me gaze into your brooding eyes before I shuffle off this mortal coil. You're not going to die. Not a day. Very nice. I'm sorry. The leg will have to wait. I'm tapped out. At least you healed my face. That's the most important part anyway. Well, second. Most important. Everyone, take whatever you need. Preferably discount item. Ah, screw it. Take it all. Go. <laughs> Does this place have a back door? In a matter of speaking. Everyone, draw near. We're scanning. Give me your hand. <laughs> oh, Jesus. He made it. The only thing is that I know this was like a Dungeons and Dragons campaign and... Cool. Okay. Yes! Oh, Gilmore, I'd kissed you right now, but you'd inevitably fall in love with me, and that'd be messy, so... Eh. Hmm. Okay. Teleportation, Jim? Grog, where did you get that curious blade? Off of Vampire Lord. Pretty cool, right? It radiates dark magic. Are you sure you know what it does? Sure do. Chops up dragons. We're still too close to the city for my liking. Yep. I say we retreat to Whitestone. My sister will take us in. I mean, come on, did you see them? Four giant dragons. Brother, what more can we do? Our weapons are useless. Yep. They're ancient and powerful. We don't stand a chance. <laughs> you don't like those nasty old lizards either. Where the hell was that bear earlier? I thought dragons didn't get along. That's what worries me. Their alliance could mean the destruction of Taldore. This could be the end of civilization as we know it. I say fuck it. Let's hit Marquette. I've always wanted to go on a world tour. Yeah, real heroic, Scanlan. I thought we stopped running from our problems. <gasps> right? What if this is our fault? We killed that blue dragon, Brimsythe. Do you think this is revenge? Amon had the biggest army in Taldore until Brimsythe dismantled it. This plan has long been in motion. Huh? Someone's at the gates. <gasps> That's a hell of a thing. Where are your parents? <gasps> are you serious? What are the gates gonna do? Like I said, white stone! Oh my god. 
on, really. He's a cool looking dragon, dude. He looks like a rhino. What was that? Fuck. Am I starting to get predictable? Stop. Oh. Okay. Portal's almost open. Now. Gilmore, where's Gilbert? This children are gonna make it. Thank God. No, I can take care of him. If he's important to you, then he's important to me. Very nice. And what exactly is the plan against four dragons? We can think of something. We've already taken one down. But we got lucky with Brimsite. He was like half the size of these fuckers. Now this is way beyond us. Where you should be going is Vasselheim. Vasselheim? Vasselheim's run by religious orders. I've always wanted to go. You don't, trust me. It's... stuffy. Now we're going all the way to Vasselheim? For what? To recruit more people to get killed? We have to try. We don't have to do anything. Why is he being... <sighs> Jesus, dude. The Northern Ward. They already rebuilt it. We didn't save a town. We saved them. <laughs> they were hopeless ones. All they needed was someone to stand up and fight for them. Mm -hmm. They had the dragon. Shh, hide. <laughs> yeah, all right. Let's do it. After all, I can't do my world tour without the rest of the band. All right. I hope it's like something we haven't seen yet. I just don't want to see a bunch of, you know, middle-aged cities all the time. Did you dispatch them? Most. But that group escaped with magic. They could gather forces against us. Hunt down those vermin. Show them the wrath of the Kuma Conclave. What a great voice. I mean, Sean Connery kind of set the... The standard for me. Guys, that was my reaction to the season two premiere. I'm gonna read off my notes, uh, but ultimately I, I really liked it. I think it was a nice exciting start to the season. I'm not sure which characters like personal arc we're going to see. I feel like because they're dragons and Vex's headaches are starting to happen again, that it's going to be tied to her and Vax's backstory. So maybe it'll become like their personal arc this season. Hopefully. We'll see. A lot of things happened though. King, I, I said King, but Sovereign Uriel is dead. And he relinquished that. But it looks like uh, the kingdom of Eamon is in ruins now. I mistakenly said Tau Dori. So Tau Dori, I guess, is the continent. And Eamon is their kingdom. If I'm wrong, just let me know in the comments, guys. I'm sorry. I'm... I'm still kind of new to the world. We had a lot of gruesome deaths. So out of the dragons that we had, we had a green one that was poisonous. We had a white one that had ice powers. And we had a, a black dragon, which I thought was just kind of the most, you know, insidious, disgusting power. Was it? I think it shot acid from its mouth. So it's just raining acid on these people. And then we had the red leader whose name I caught. I think it's Thor Thordic. He, uh, he seemed to be the leader. I think he was fire. But he also shot a powerful beam. Uh, it didn't exactly look like fire, but I guess that's just the higher levels of the fire ability. Kind of like water bending goes to blood bending. Fire goes to concentrated energy beam. Yeah, we just had a lot of people die. Uh, Sovereign Uriel died a terrible death, but it was good that he saw that his family got out, I think. I couldn't remember if Lady Allura had magical powers. Thankfully she did because she ended up saving a lot of people, I think. But uh, I think she got squashed by the huge boulder, so I think she's dead too. A lot of people died. I feel like 80%, maybe 90% of the population just got wiped out. If Eamon was the capital of Tavdori and they got wiped out really easily and they had the biggest army, I was kind of wondering why go to Whitestone, but because they are secluded from everyone, they can at least go there and collect their thoughts. So they go to Vasselheim where all these monks and nuns are, and I guess they're a bunch of prudes because Vex and Vax didn't want to go there. But that's okay because it's kind of like the Helm's Deep of the world. They got another army that's pretty big as well. So they went there and I, that's kind of where we are with episode one, guys. But I liked it. Uh, Scanlan was obviously, you know, he was kind of a non-believer. 
but I'm glad that it didn't take multiple episodes for him to come around and want to, you know, protect people. I think that's cool. But yeah, these dragons are something like I have never seen in the show. Really, it was the Briarwoods, you know, they, they were individually powerful, but these guys are like destroying civilizations. So I'm in. I think they're cool. I love dragons. I was one of those kids. I went to a private school with, and, and I'm friends with a lot of these people. I'm, I'm not, this isn't a criticism, but just a bunch of rich kids. When we got to dress down, I used to go to Walmart and I just thought they were so cool. But you know, those button up, like, you know, crappy ass shirts, but they had dragons on them. I used to wear those like at the dances. I thought it was, and I would wear that with like nice black slacks. I would tuck it in. I thought it was so cool. And I, was, I realized I'm an idiot. So, uh, you know, I, I can't remember who it was. Maybe it was Zach Brooker. I think he was like, dragons are cool. You just can't wear the shirts to, you just can't wear the shirts. So, you know, whatever guys. Anyways, guys, I appreciate it. If you want to support our channel and uh, maybe get in the comments and tell Zach to get his butt over here. I would love to have him in it. Uh, the thing is we would have to wait a few days and we would be more late on these videos So he's definitely not going to be in the first couple guys live the comments check out our merch uh, Like and subscribe and go to our patreon. We're out of here guys Thank you so much for watching this reaction if you like us and you want to support us Well, that's great. All you got to do is like and subscribe and uh, Just live the comments. Let me know what you think and did I get anything wrong? I wouldn't be surprised if I did but guys, it's okay. I'm enjoying this and I like to learn so See you next time